Hey ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are doing amazing today in another video. <laughs> so to, I hope you have a, you're having a really good day. Um, we had an awesome day. Uh, we did a couple of very fun things and it was just great. We wanted to take a little trip uh, outside of where we're living right now. But I decided not to go. <laughs> Maybe we'll go tomorrow. Uh, anyway, so... Um, I wanted to make this video for the ladies specifically, okay? And so, uh, yeah, it's for the ladies. Anyway, so, uh, <laughs> lately my video, uh, my last video, I, in my last video I was so tired, uh, but I still decided to make a video, you know? I was feeling good, but I was just so tired. Lately, I don't know why, but I've been like really tired. Um, uh, maybe I'm just like not getting like quality sleep, you know? Sometimes like you get enough sleep, but you don't get quality sleep, right? And so I think quality sleep is what matters. And also like uh, not too long ago, I started drinking caffeine again, like every once in a while. So that's not a good thing. I think I will just completely get rid of it again, you know, because I think it has definitely interfered. It has been interfering with my sleep. So that's not, you know, that's not a very good thing. Anyways, guys, so uh, this video is for the ladies, right? And I wanted to make a video because um, I think, you know, um, getting into really uh, a bad relationship can cost you a great deal, okay? Not only are you exchanging your own energy, and if, you're, uh, if you've got a good energy, right? If you've got a good mindset, if, you've, um, uh, if you don't gossip, right? If you are a kind-hearted person, if you meditate, right, if you take care of yourself in every way, then you're going to have a good energy, okay? And this good energy, of course, it's it's, it's extremely precious, you know, and so uh, you have to be careful who you get involved with, right? Because as you know, right, we become like the seven people uh, that we surround ourselves with, right? So we take a little bit from each person, right? And then we become kind of like them, right? Because uh, there's not only is there an exchange of energy that's happening, right? But also, of course, you uh, get influenced by the people that are in your life, right? And so if they have a negative mindset, they're going to influence you, right? Uh, whether positively or negatively, right? So it depends on, on their mindset. And so you have to keep consider this before getting into a relationship, right? And so uh, this video is for um, all of you ladies that are thinking about getting into a relationship, okay? So uh, here's something that you have to consider, right? If you want to get into a relationship, right, then you have to uh, be... Um, you have to watch out for certain red flags about a guy, okay? Because um, narcissistic men will... Um, and not just narcissistic men, okay, but just simply toxic men that you don't want to get involved with, they will display certain red flags, okay, and so you have to watch out for them, okay? The first red flag, right, is that, um, and this one is extremely important, okay, and so make sure before you get into, first of all, before getting into a relationship with a guy, right, don't ever jump into bed with him too quickly, okay? Don't get intimate with a guy too quickly because as a woman, um, supposedly we release a lot, our bodies release a lot more oxytocin, right? And so that means that that's a bonding hormone, right? And so that means that we bind, bind to a guy uh, too quickly and too fast, okay? And so this is our biology, right? And we can't help it. Okay, so you are going to get much more attached to him than he is to you. And that's also due to his physiology, right? And so because of his physiology and because men don't release as much oxytocin, right, as women do, we don't get, they don't get uh, as attached to us uh, and we get more attached to them, okay? And so you have to consider this too, okay? And so... Um, there's that, right? So, uh, and of course, your, like I said, your energy is very precious, right? And so you have to do everything in your power to protect it, right? You have to be careful with it. And uh, you are a treasure, right? You, you are special. You are, your body is sacred, right? And so, and so is your energy, right? And so, um, 
you know you have to you have to be careful who you get involved with right uh also on the spiritual level there is an exchange of spirits right and so uh, uh you know whether you want to believe it or not the spiritual world is real right and so when you're sleeping with someone when you get intimate with someone you guys are going to be exchanging spirits too okay and so if anyone is carrying any negative attachments right or spirits they're going to you're going to uh, automatically have them too okay they're going to you, they're going to be exchanged right and so that's not a good thing if they're carrying a lot of bad attachments right and so there's that right so uh, never get involved with anyone too quickly make sure you get to know them okay get to know them and um, you know for the most part when you do get to know him you will quickly realize that he's not going to be for you okay because most men unfortunately right and most women too a lot of women and a lot of men nowadays they're removed from god and because of this they're going to be um they're not going to be the best people to to get involved with unfortunately you know so uh if you yourself are a godly woman right then um definitely be careful okay definitely be careful definitely get to know someone right and um and you probably will already right you're you're going to um you're not gonna going into you're not gonna um you know your value right you're not gonna sleep with anyone um you know too soon right you you're not before marriage right you're not going to be um um you're not going to settle for anything less than what you deserve, right? And you deserve the best, right? You deserve marriage. You deserve a good husband, right? A good provider. You deserve a godly man, right? So if you're a godly woman yourself, uh, then you deserve a like-minded person, right? And so, you know, uh, have patience, right? And get to know people, okay? That's one thing, right? Another, of course, is um, ask him how he feels about his mom you know because a mom's uh, a guy's relationship with his mother will tell you most things it will tell you everything that you need to hear okay and so i've noticed that a lot of guys who do not have good relationship with their mothers right they tend to also not like uh, other women you know so they might speak badly poorly about the other women right they might even hate them <laughs> okay because of their mom uh, more often than not, this guy's mom did not treat him well, okay? And, uh, you know, if, if someone like your main... Uh, a guy's relationship with his mom is his first relationship with the, with the opposite sex, basically, right? Uh, minus the in intimacy, right? And so, if that first relationship was bad, right? If she mistreated him, then he's probably going to think... Uh, this about all the other women, right? He's not gonna trust, first of all, right? So his trust was broken. He's not gonna trust other women, right? And he's not gonna really even like them, okay? Uh, and so there's that, right? So always question him about the relationship with his mom, how it is, right? And if it's positive, then great, you know? So that's that's a huge green flag, right? Uh, and so um, that's what you want to look for. You want to look for uh, a guy who had a good relationship with his mom, right? A, a guy that speaks kindly and well of women, right? Of the opposite sex. You also want to look out for uh, whether he's uh, talking uh, poorly about other women in his life, you know, so it, more often than not, uh, I noticed, for example, with my own ex, right, is that he was speaking really, really poorly about all the other women, right, while he was just, like, telling me good things and nice things, right, he's like, oh, you're different, you're, you know, uh, this this girl is is so and so right she's she's crap right uh, this other woman is crap but you're different you know so he's going to tell you that you're different right but don't just listen to his words you know pay attention uh, to what he's saying about his ex because he's going to be saying the exact same things about you uh, very soon <laughs> okay very soon into the future okay because uh, once again right if the guy um, didn't learn from his past if he doesn't if he's not mature enough to realize that um if he hasn't healed and if he's not mature then he's going to blame everything on the woman right and so 
uh, you want to uh, keep this in mind, okay? Um, if the guy is blaming everything on the woman, right? If he doesn't realize that it takes two to tango, right? If he doesn't realize that it takes two people, so uh, to go into a relationship, right? And more, more often than not, uh, two people aren't perfect, right? So both of them are going to make mistakes, right? Even if that mistake was going into the relationship in the first place, right? But he's going to, a mature man is going to admit that, you know, even though the relationship didn't work out, right? He's not going to blame the woman, you know? He's going to take some accountability too, okay? And so you're going to realize this too. You're going to notice that, okay? And so if he's doing this, then that's a good thing, okay? It's a, it's a red flag, right? I mean, green flag, right? And so... And make sure that, that that's there, right? Make sure he's not blaming. Because before you know it, he's going to be doing the same thing to you. And it also shows his lack of maturity, you know, if he's doing that. And his lack of growth, right? Because in every relationship, right? In every relationship, we are supposed to learn. We're supposed to grow, right? And so, um, you know, when, and we're not perfect, right? Hey, kitty cat. And we're not perfect, right? And so we're going to make mistakes, right? And so we have to also admit our faults, right? Because, um, you know, we um, we all make mistakes, right? And so, you know, it's just a matter of learning from those mistakes, right? And so uh, there's that, right? So make sure you, you're paying attention how he talks about his mom, right? And if the relationship is good, and if he talks positively, then that's a great thing, right? Make sure that uh, how, how make sure that you're paying attention how he talks about other women, right? How he treats other women too. So if you um, if you get a chance to like hang out with him, right? Make sure you actually watch him interact with other women, right? Also. Okay, so uh, if he's treating you in a special way and he's mistreating other women around you, right? Then he's uh, before you know it, this is go this is going to be you. He's going to mistreat you too. Once you you know for once you have fallen for him, right? And once you hey hey, once you uh you know once you kind of get used to him and once you fall for him, you know. So once he hooks you in, right? He's also going to mistreat you. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, and uh, have a good one. Okay